Hello there, I am Giant Crow with more Earthbound. In the last part, we we had a uh, dream with this girl named Paula, who is a friend apparently, even though we never really met her. Um, we also took on the, a bunch of policemen, including um, Captain Strong, the police chief. And it took me a while, I kept on like dying against them like, at first, like I think I died three times or something, I've already guessed. But, but I eventually did be able to beat him. But um, let me check my level, I forgot what level I'm, I think I'm 12 or 12. Yeah, I'm level 12. So yeah, you should be at least a level 10 or 11 for before you take on the policeman at the police station. Or at, right here, basically, it just says police. So, before we leave Onet and go to Tucson, oh yeah, also the Captain Strong also, um, made, got rid of the roadblocks right here from these, uh, policemen right here. So yeah, let's talk to one of them, I guess. Hey, aren't you Ness? Well, it's, well, I got the okay from Captain Chief Strong, okay? Did I read that completely wrong? Chief Strong instead of Captain Strong? I may have to let you through, okay? Take care of yourself, okay? Cool. But before we leave Onet Town, I guess you could say, because that sign just said Onet Town, <laughs> we're going to go to the west of... Uh, I almost said Earthbound. West of Onet. And let's just go to it. Yeah. And over here, let's read this sign right here. Uh, what are you talking to? Okay, we'll check with L then, I guess. Um, even if you're poor, come and see how easy it is to own a, uh, own a luxurious second home. Break point real estate. In quotation marks. Okay, cool. Let's talk to you. Doesn't this house look good? You can buy it for only $7,500, $7,500 basically, yeah. It has an ocean view and the sunsets are beautiful. Folks should have a place of their own. Do you want to buy it? I can't afford it right now. Hopefully I can come back here when I have enough money and buy it just to show you guys what it is. At this point, of me recording this video, I don't know what's in that house, so... Because again, I'm following a guide and stuff. So, because that part's actually buying for me. I've never actually bought that house and my playthrough is like worth pound. Let's talk to this guy who has an instrument, a musical instrument. I must be the happiest man in the world. I can practice my trumpet in the scenic spot. I'll send you a haunting melody um, throughout the town. That's really cool. It doesn't really sound like a trumpet, but it still sounds really nice. Yeah, I like the little music there that they put in there. It's really cool, I guess. So I suppose we leave our net tunnel. By the way, here's the hospital. I don't think we have to use the hospital on at all. Pretty much because I think there are different purposes for later on, which are coming up soon, actually. Let's just leave our net town and go on to Tucson. I'm not gonna talk to this guy because I only said I want to talk to one police officer, man. Okay, right here is the um, in between area of Tucson and Onet, or Monet, it doesn't matter how you pronounce it, both are correct in my opinion. So yeah, let's go into this house, because this is actually a really cool um thing you'll get here. Let's talk to this guy right here. I, I live rent free in my mouse's house. Mouse's house. Huh. The mice are known as exit mice. Um, they are very kind, and boy, they are they're fast. I really love these guys. Wait, so you... You're paying rent for a, and your landlord's basically a mouse, you're saying? Is that what you're saying? Okay, um, let's just, um, talk to, yeah, since we have psychic powers, or since Ness has psychic powers, you can talk to animals and stuff, which is pretty cool. No one else really can, which is kind of odd, but yeah. Please take my son along, he'll make you, he'll make, he'll, he may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. Will you take one of my sons along? Sure, I'll take your... You'll take your son and just probably never ever, you'll never ever see him again, probably. <laughs> never mind. Well, that's probably true, actually. <laughs> he is a tough boy. You can treat him as if you're, as if one of your items. Okay, cool. He just turns into an item. We got the X-Mouse. And he runs up to our, like, the back of us and tries to go on our backpack, I guess, because that's where our goods are. And if we go to our goods, we see exit mice right here, yeah. Cool. So they're like escape ropes like in Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. It'll help you um, exit dungeon automatically, and that's really nice. I'm surprised I haven't run into enemies yet. I think we're going to run into new enemies soon, actually. And by soon, I mean like in the next point five seconds or so. One, two, three, four, five. One line looks five. Oh, are there no enemies out here? Gosh dang it. Okay, there they are. Nice. We got, we got some mushroom-looking enemies. These are rambling and evil mushrooms, I think they were called. So, we're just gonna bash the one. Yeah, there we go. It's attacking. Okay, 11 HP. Okay, and then attack. The other one attacks 12 HP. Okay. 
So they can have an effect on you where they kind of make you feel weird or something. It's hard to explain. Oh, you attack the mess. Okay, cool. I got rid of one of the uh, mushrooms. And he attacked again. So he's not using like his effect or anything. He's just putting out attacking. He missed again. Yes, there we go. We get hit 57, ex 57 HP. And we win the battle. 190 experience points. Cool. So they didn't really do the effect I wanted to. I'm just going to go into Tucson. I don't want to run into any more mushrooms. I want to get the crazy effect. Which actually, I should show it off actually if I do get it. So I'm going to go back into the forest, I guess. And take on this mushroom. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you kind of never had any more mushroom. Yeah, okay, cool. 54 HP. I must have experience points again. Or experience again, like I said in the last battle almost. Yeah. Stop moving, okay. That's very cool, I guess. 95 experience points. I want to I want to show the effect off. Like, like you'll get like a mushroom on top of your head. Oh, wait, wait, does that mean I did a back attack and I want to make me beat it? Never mind. Okay. Here's a surprise attack. Okay. For discs. I want to show off the effect if I can, but I think I'm just too powerful right now. Is he not? Is the mushrooms not gonna do the effect? If not, I'll have to explain it then. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to explain it basically, cause I can't. I want to spend the whole part just like <laughs> battling mushrooms on purpose, trying to get see show off the effect. But basically, there's an effect where um you feel like kind of dizzy, I guess, or weird, where you have a mushroom on top of your cap from a nest, and um you go to the hospital. It kind of inverts your controls after a while, cause it makes you walk in different places. Um, I think you can help. You can do. You can help counter that by like turning your control over because uh, because the invert controls I believe but every time you start getting your go in the right direction they kind of change on you again so you can have to like turn your control if that helps I'm not sure if it'll help me because I've never tried it with a game controller but I'm never because uh, I always just struggle with just trying to find the right buttons like with feel but basically if you go to the Tucson hospital this is why you want to go to the hospital that's really good for you um if you talk to this blue haired guy he's like a healer and he will sell he will buy your mushroom off the top of Ness's cap or whatever or whatever you named your character as Ness um and the other being in the game and he'll sell you sell, he'll sell buy it for you and give you fifty dollars for it and you'll take the mushroom off your head so you can actually you know have um proper controls again and stuff so that's pretty cool that's a really good way to get raise money but like if you if you want to like keep on getting attacked by mushrooms and having the effect go then it's a really good way to um you know get money and hopefully you're used to like you really good at inverse controls or whatever so that helps too here's the cycle shop but look what happens oh that music it sounds familiar oh no the guy's falling from the sky again spinning pictures taken uh, instantaneously. Um, I'm the poet here for genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. It's so ready, say fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles! Yeah. So he used it there again. He sends the same dialogue, so yeah. But if we go into the cycle shop, guess what they have here? We have bicycles. Nice. Bicycles are always fun. So, if we talk to this guy, this is, this is the cycle shop. Puncture. I get it. <laughs> um, bicycles are so much fun and they are so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You, you'll you be very popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Yeah, sure. Unfortunately, we do not have any more bicycles for sale. We only have rentals. Do you want to rent one? Yes, I do. I really like, I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what, I'll let you borrow a bike for free. You have too many items. What do you get? My hands are tied. Okay, I have, apparently have too many items, so, so I can't even carry the bicycle. So I'm gonna have to make room for that. I honestly forget how I make room. Um, if I can just use an item, I guess. Um, yeah. I'll just eat a hamburger, I guess. Okay, it restores my HP. Okay, or Nessus HP. Whenever I say restores my or restores Nessus, I mean the same thing. Honestly, I just. I don't know how to pronounce, you know, say it right sometimes because I get mixed up. Because it can get confusing, honestly, saying my HP or Ness's HP. I'm sorry, guys. And gals, okay, let's talk to him again. Yeah, okay, let's. I, I want to buy a bicycle, yay. Oh, unfortunately, you don't have any bicycle for sale. Okay, I want to rent a bicycle, yay. I like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what, I'll let you uh, buy a bicycle for free. Nice, Ness got a bicycle. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle, so of course, three or four people on a bike would be impossible. That's kind of foreshadowing to how many party members we get, but as the legend said, we had, we stopped, I guess, with, um, two, with the help of two more boys and one girl, so yeah. 
So yeah, um, yeah, teddy bears for example, carrying a teddy bear and riding impossible is impossible for you. Like it can't follow the bicycle apparently. So that makes sense though, because I could be dragging by its bicycle and that kind of be rough on the teddy bear anyway. Anyway, I don't even think you can ride a bicycle in a bike in a cave. So I want to show this off real quick. You know, there's a lot of limitations and stuff, but it's look how fast you go. If I can ride the bicycle real quick, use on the bicycle. Okay. Oh wait, what the heck? I can't ride in. Okay, can't ride in the grass apparently. Uh, I think that's what it said basically. Yeah. Okay. Look how fast we go. Yeah, we go as almost as fast as cars, which is pretty cool. And I like the cheery music it has. You know, your sprite's a little bit bigger, so and like it's. If you look at Ness's face, he has like a happy face. His mouth is open. Like a colon D emoji, emoji or whatever, Col you know, a semi, no, no uh, yeah, colon D I think, is that emoji. I think if we talk to one person right out, right in the beginning of Tucson, she'll say something funny. So yeah, but um, you can't ride these in caves, obviously, and it automatically just keeps on, you keep on writing. I'm not even pressing down any of my arrow keys right now on my D-pad for my game controller. So it automatically goes in one direction, which is pretty cool, you don't have to hold it down. So I want to get off the bicycle by pressing A, obviously. Um, I want to find that one person. I think it's a woman who says like, "Oh, I know a lot of things, but that's all I know." Ah, where? I don't want to. I don't want to battle that clown yet. That's for later. And also, we'll get into teddy bears probably in the next part. Um, let's see here. I don't want to battle any clowns. I think they're hipsters or something. They're called in this game. It's really weird. Oh great! I just ran into one. Now we got a good. At okay. Cranky lady, okay. How a shopping bag did that much damage? Suck. Smash! 110 HP. Yes, haha. Uh -huh. Okay, so yeah, cranky lady, we just beat with one attack. Now it's now level 13, yay. Defense went up by one. Maximum HP went up by two. Okay, cool. I wanna, um, I'm gonna have to skip on talking to that lady. I think maybe it's you? No, I don't think it's you, actually. I heard Paula was kidnapped, but it's still unconfirmed. Huh, Paula? That means we might see her soon. Oh great, no! I don't want to battle any weird enemies. I just want to find that one woman that says like, Oh, Tucson is great. Uh, although I don't know much after a, a bit of dialogue, she says. She tells you a couple things, but I guess I'm going to have to skip out on that because it's optional. But uh, I wanted to try to show that off. Man. Okay, so I'm going to find the... Okay, let's see. I'm going to use the town map to find where the hotel is or motel. Let's see, hotel is just okay. I know where it is actually, because I looked on the map. Nice. Well, maybe if we can ride on a bicycle, it'd go faster. <laughs> just for old time's sake. No, just not, not for old time's sake, just for, for convenience. No, I did that mistake where I pressed A too fast. Not status. Good. I want to just ride a bicycle. That's all I want to do. Gosh dang it, I pressed A again by mistake. This time I won't mess it up. Okay, let's go on the road the bicycle. Yay, there we go. I press A after I selected the bike. Yay. Because, yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Here's the hotel. I can't have to get off the bicycle first. Yeah, I just bet it's a little bit bigger, you know? So, yeah, this has been my Earthbound Let's Play part. Next part, we'll do, um, probably get teddy bears or something, explore Tucson a little bit more. So, yeah, this has been Jonko again. I really like the game. Goodbye, and I hope to see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.